Hi Georgie Burns here. I'd like to show you how I made this card. I am going to change it up a bit but only the ink colours as I think the black is a bit harsh and I'm going to use crumb cake. That's the only difference in this card. For this card you will need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths folded in half and burnished I do usually score my card but obviously forgot this time a um, piece of crumb cake at three and seven eighths by five and five eighths a piece of white card stock at three and seven eighths by five and five eighths for the inside. A piece of cherry cobbler at three by four. And a piece of white at three by four. You also need a piece of cherry cobbler at seven eighths of an inch by what is that? That's three and a half, but we are going to chop it down. And then a piece of crumb cake at three quarters of an inch. Like I said, we are going to chop that down. You'll also need a scrap of whisper white for the star, uh, sorry, cherry cobbler for the star, which I've already cut out. And Obviously, the silver a piece of silver for the silver star. So that's there. The stamp sets we're using the Star of Light, and the only stamp I'm using here is the Merry Christmas. But I have used this die, the big star die, and the little snowflake star die. That didn't make sense, did it? But you know what I mean. We're also going to use Buffalo Check stamp set and Sheep Music stamp set. Stamp set. Background stamps. So we're going to use them. So to get started, we'll do our backgrounds. So I need my big. We'll do the sheet music first, sit that on there. Normally I obviously don't use this mat pad when I'm making cards myself. I stick this on my glass mat. So I don't use this block very often. But I will use it now. Right, we're crumb cake ink. We're going to ink it up. Right, so that I've got this up the right way, I need to look at the music. Um, oh. That must be up the right way. with my white piece of card I will lay it down it's not very straight and with a scrap paper I will give it a rub I can't see if I'm rubbing the right bit but See that? I'll keep that out because I'll need that and then just give this a clean so I can put it away. I 
I didn't wet my um, cloth. I bet this is still dry. So I haven't made a card for a, a couple of days. That's fine. Right. Put that away. And get the buffalo checker. Right, and with crumb cake again, give it a good inking up, and you want your three seven eighths by five and five eighths piece of crumb cake card to do this on. That's enough. And then just place that gently down with your scrap of paper. Give it a good rub. It's a new background stamp coming out in the spring summer catalogue. It's lovely. I won't tell you what it is until it comes, then I'll show you. Right, and there's my buffalo check or plaid card as I call it so that's that Cook. wipe down with that Then done. Get rid of that. Right, all we've got left to stamp is the sentiment, which we're using cherry cobbler and the word Merry Christmas. So I'm going to stamp that right to the left of the um, card. Not very straight. I'm going to pull it down. Sorry if you can't see it. That's better. Right, put that stamp away. Finish for them. Right, let's put this card together. So, um, yeah, stick that on. Haven't done nothing on the inside again. Did I do anything on this one? Oh yeah, but wishing you a wonderful Christmas. I haven't on this one. Right, this one. So, we'll put the red so it touches the outsides. And the music so it touches the outsides or the opposites well no not the opposite facing the opposite way leaning the opposite way and then this 
will sit down here. But what we're going to do with this is stick this. What's that way here? Stick this on this bit of card. Done that wrong. Right, we won't be flagging this. I'll just have it as a um a rectangle. Yeah, that won't matter. I should have flagged it before I stuck it, but never mind. Right. Stick this one down. Sit sheet down. And then stick the whole lot on the card base. Doesn't actually stick out as much, does it? The Plaid bit. That's all right. And then with the star, which I've already put dimensionals on, I am going to take all the backings off. I've put loads on. No wonder I keep running out of them. I used too many. This we're going to actually stick it straight. Oh. And the little silver star, which I should have actually stuck on before. Right, I might make a right mess of this card. And stick that in the middle. Stick dimensionals on this one. that to the edge. Uh, I don't know if I like that with the paler background. I'm not sure. But we need some gems. 
I need a pearl to go in the middle. That's too big. Is a boom. Um, just pop a pearl there, and some. No, what silverish ones? These ones. Go here, I want three. Can you see what I'm doing? No, you can't. Would have annoyed me till I got it straight, that's it. So there you have it. One dark background and one paler background. Hope you like it. If you do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press the notification bell next to it, and you'll be notified of any more um, videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and hope to see you again soon. Bye.